Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Virgo uh, weekend read for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the weekend of March 19th through the 22nd. So guys, I made it to Minnesota in one piece. <laughs> that was quite a drive, 25 hours straight, but I made it. We're back on, uh, we're back on track, guys, okay? So let's go ahead and um, do a quick shuffle here on camera. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What love messages, what clarity and guidance, what advice do my Virgos need to hear for March 19th through the 22nd, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. All right, my loves. So, so ooh, that's a lot of, ooh, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so that is um, a lot of cards that popped out. We're not taking those. Uh, okay, so guys, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose weekly winners, guys. I give away free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, jewelry, Palo Santo. Um, it's a lot of fun. I skipped this past Sunday, which my deepest apologies, but due to um, the coronavirus, I had to move sooner than expected. So it has been quite a dramatic <laughs> um, few days for me. So, but normally it's every Sunday, okay? Um, every Sunday I choose the winner. So go ahead and like, share, comment, um, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? So guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, if you would like to check out my Instagram, if you would like to um, check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, um, Timeless Collective Readings, my tarot collection, everything is in the description box below. Um, if you happen to be a Pisces cross watcher or if you are asking about a Pisces um, you get $5 off of a personal reading until the end of Pisces season, okay? So guys, let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message. So Virgo, this could be your energy or this could be your person's energy, okay? So Virgo, what I got here was that, oh gosh, cards are jumping. All right, so we got the Page of Wands communication. Um, what I got in the pre-shuffle, there must have been um, a moment between you and your person where you and your per you or your person were not speaking how you truly felt. Okay, you were not <laughs> excuse me speaking how you truly felt, and um, I feel that. Because of this, this person assumes that the other person was cheating, okay, or that they're holding secrets. Um, now, that could be you, Virgo. That could be your person, but it, it looks like it's going to pose a lot of heartache and a lot of problems. I'm, I usually don't have any reversals in this deck, but we've got temperance in the reverse, Sagittarian energy, and I'm gonna keep it that way, okay? Um, now, temperance is all about patience. It's all about balanced emotions. So I feel now what's gonna happen is, is we're coming out of this period of no communication, not knowing what's going on, to all of a sudden becoming impatient and emotionally imbalanced about the situation because I feel that somebody has a misconception that the other person um, was she you know or they could have been cheating I don't know but that's what one person was feeling that you know because there was no communication or because this person wasn't honest with their feelings um, you know someone here just didn't say how they truly felt and now it's backfiring now it's backfiring so let's go ahead and pull a couple of oracle cards and see what the energy here is Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Virgos, please? My cards, let me tell you something, guys. Because I haven't touched any of my decks in days, they're so ready to speak, they're like flying everywhere. They're not even making sense. So we have 
photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So someone here is missing the other person, okay? But I have here the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So we have someone here that I feel is starting to realize that uh, the relationship is truly over. The relationship is truly over. What did we have under the deck? Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Ooh, someone here is being blocked from, uh, from pursuing this connection. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So I'm seeing here that someone here was actually missing the other person, stalking them even. But this is a relationship that had completely ended. But now what's happening here is, is that something here happened causing this. This should have moved forward. I mean, this should have been, we've got that engagement ring there. Something here happened. Let's see what we have going on. So guys, here we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And we have this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you seek. So here we have someone flirting, having a good time, saying this could be the one. And on this side, we've got wedding. The situation involves marriage. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Okay. So, interesting. So one person here needs to make the decision whether they want this commitment or not. And this person feels like they have found the one. So let's see what we have going on here. We have the Ten of Swords. Oh boy. We have the Hermit Virgo Energy. We've got the Two of Wands. The Two of Cups. And the four of pentacles okay so there was an ending here and virgo you may have withdrawn you may have withdrawn um and with playfulness maybe i don't know there was flirting with other people we have this could be the one with the two of wands and the two of cups now that tells me that you're distant from your soulmate Okay, that you're distant from your soulmate. And with the Four of Pentacles here, yeah, you're holding back from your soulmate. Okay, um, but you know, you thought the relationship ended, you withdrew from the situation, or that could be you or your person. Someone here withdrew from the situation with playfulness. I felt like they went to go, you know, play. Okay, so let me just show you these cards here. Ten of Swords and the Hermit. Now look at those Ten of Swords. Normally in a Ten of Swords, the swords are in the person's back. This Ten of Swords, the person's hands are handcuffed. So I feel that, you know, whoever here felt this way, that someone here felt like their relationship was truly over. We could be dealing with someone in prison with the handcuffs like that, um, but they felt like their hands were tied and there was nothing that they can do to fix the situation. So they withdrew and went to go, you know, play or have a good time. Um, but Spirit is saying that they already know that they've met the romantic partner that they seek. They already know that they are separating from their soulmate. And with the Four of Pentacles, they know this person knew and understood that they were separating themselves from a soulmate okay now here we have wedding we've got the hanging man and we have the seven of wands so this person here put us a breaks or the brakes on they they stalled the connection they stopped something here this is the person that caused this ten of swords okay they may have blocked this you know you may have been blocked you blocked this person someone here decided to stall this connection and they're in the process of trying to make a decision with the five of wands this person is very conflicted uh leo sagittarius aries energy here so we have you know someone is in their divine masculine um there's you know there may be a lot of people that want this person's attention this person may be very sexy very well off very fun to be around very charismatic but i see that there might be with very soon there may be some competition here and we have the sun more leo energy so i feel that yeah this person is going to do what makes them happy so right now this person has multiple people vying for their attention 
Yeah, this person has multiple people vying for their attention. So let's go ahead and clarify this, guys. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow. So, all right. So we have the Ten of Swords with the World card. Someone here thought it was over. And with the Star card and the Wheel of Fortune, they're like, okay, rejection is God's protection. You know, they have hope. And they went ahead with the Wheel of Fortune and they decided to pursue another connection. Tell me about the Hermit card. King of Swords in the reverse. So someone here got cut off. Someone here went completely cold. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Ooh. But someone here now is starting to realize that they withdrew. Two of Wands again. They withdrew and distanced themselves and walked away with that Six of Swords from their soulmate. And there's the regret, guys. There's the regret. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Oh, wow. These cards are jumping. Yeah. So I feel like this is definitely a past person, and this is the person that blocked you. So this soulmate is this person here who's blocking the connection. We got Virgo energy here, the, the pre-Empress card, Nine of Pentacles. This person may be, like I said, you know, very well off financially, independent, looking good, feeling good with the Strength card in the reverse. Um, I feel like this person is the other person's weakness. Like you guys are each other's kryptonite type of thing. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so I feel like someone here felt like they had to release this connection because it was giving them too much anxiety. It was giving them too much anxiety, not knowing if this was going to end, if it was not going to end, if this person was going to walk away, if they were going to be left, another tower moment. What I'm getting here is that someone may have like abandonment issues and, and they don't like living in a way where they're not sure if something is going to move forward or not, which is what this person keeps doing. Okay. They keep kind of, you know, pausing the connection because they're not sure. Tell me about the hanging man, please. Yeah. This person made it clear that they did not want to move forward in this connection. They did not want communication. Tell me about the seven of wands. Justice in the reverse. So guys, someone here may be facing some type of karmic justice. Something happened here, obviously, for this person to, um, to feel this way. You know, tell me about the five of wands. We've got the X. We've got the X. So we've got this. So I feel that, you know, this X may have other competitors. This X may have other people that, you know, tell me about the King of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords. So this person, you know, they want a break. This person wants a break because there's a lot. They, they have a decision that needs to be made. They need to choose who they want to be with. Tell me about the Sun. We've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. So someone here is manifesting their happiness, okay? Someone here is manifesting their happiness. So we have on one side here, we've got someone here who thought that this ending was God's blessing. They cut it off emotionally, they went really cold, and they went to go play, okay? They went to go play. Before you know it, this person started to realize that, you know what I'm saying, they withdrew and distanced themselves from a soulmate, okay, from a soulmate, because with the strength card in the reverse, I feel like they're not finding anybody with a connection as strong as this one with that two of cups, okay, but this person also felt like letting go made them feel better, like, so whoever did this, they, it was like a, it was like a, they put that armor on of that King of Swords because it hurt so much that they were like, okay, I'm just going to take this as a blessing and cut this off because if I sit here and mourn over this, I'm not going to make it. Now, this person here, this person here, um, maybe they wanted to block you know, this connection because they felt like they were being treated unfairly, but this person made it clear that they do not want communication and now we've got that six of cups that, you know, someone is coming in here fighting. Let's see what we have for the oracle. We've got teacher and decrease. So losing this person, whoever here 
feels the guilt and the remorse this they lost this person to be taught a lesson okay they lost this person to be taught a lesson this person did not say how they felt when this whole thing happened and because of that because they decided to turn into the king of swords in the reverse you know they may have potentially lost this person so here, here we have optimism and professional assistance optimism and per per professional assistance so i feel like this person here they are very happy they are doing much better than this person over here this person as i said is manifesting their happiness and with professional assistance this person may be focusing on their money they may be focusing because they're coming in here as you know a king and a king in the upright a king that has fun that's charismatic that's doing their own thing um and you know one person here is coming in as the king of swords in the reverse which is a very nasty cold narcissistic energy okay um it doesn't have to be narcissistic but I'm just saying it's a very cold energy so here the challenge we have the high priestess okay there's secrets here there's secrets and you know everyone's trying to use their intuition but you guys are not speaking the high priestess cancer Piscean energy resting bitch face my friends so I feel that maybe this person knows that this person here went to go went off to go play you know what I'm saying with someone else and what's crossing the situation is the knight of swords okay so the knight of swords is someone that made an impulsive decision Aquarius Gemini Libra energy <laughs> excuse me so someone here may have meant you know made a very impulsive decision that they are now regretting the high priestess can also be a card of a mistress okay so someone here made a decision that they are regretting and the final outcome here we've got the king of swords and the six of wands um so we have someone is cutting something off they're cutting off all emotion because they feel that that's the best cho you know choice for them so virgo that can be you that can be your person um but what's funny here with temperance in the reverse this is telling me that this period though of of you know this this cold energy this emotional disconnection someone's pride is getting you know this is all about pride and ego with that six of wands but on the inside this person is very emotionally um you know like a photograph there someone here is really emotional about this they're very like obsessed about the this ending okay they're still stalking they're still watching um you know th this person one person here is still committed to this connection even though it's over um this is really interesting but this person still has to make a decision so this can still come together but someone here is saying i need to make a decision on what i want to do yeah someone here wants to make a decision so what we're going to do is we'll take this into the extended and let's see if there's going to be reconciliation here let's see if this is going to come together because one person here is really realizing the other person's worth you know did this person le learn their lesson teacher and decrease this this breakup this this you know what i'm saying this uh separation taught this person this person's value okay and i think that this is why this person decided that they wanted a break with the justice card in the reverse there was an imbalance here okay there was a major imbalance here all right guys so let's go ahead and take it into the extended the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will also be posted in the comment section i love you guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the extended bye